Hey guys, this is Harrison from Predators Reptile Center, here to talk to you about the natural history and captive care about possibly one of the cutest snakes that are alive today on our planet, the Kenyan sand boa. These guys are native to northern and eastern Africa, and they are part of the boa day family. These guys are pretty cool, just like other boas, they actually give birth to live young. They usually give birth to about a dozen babies at a time, but on record they can give birth to over 40 babies. These guys are fossorial, which means they spend most of their time underground. We have this beautiful, wild occurring morph female. She really is quite pretty. This is what, exactly what they look like in the wild, but we do have some other variable morphs as well for Kenyan Samboas. We have this lovely stripe morph. This guy's very, very cute. Looks like he's got a little bit of a stuck shed on his face there. We'll probably have to clean that off in a little bit. We also have this little Spitfire. This guy's a anery morph. Very, very cute. They really are the derpiest of snakes. These guys are constrictors. So instead of killing their prey with venom, they'll actually grab onto a prey item, constrict it, and then they'll squeeze the air out of their lungs. And once the animal is dead, it'll swallow it whole. These guys are pretty interesting too. Snakes evolved from a legged ancestor, and this trait can still be seen in Kenyan sand bows today. They actually have tiny little spurs on either side of their cloaca. These are vestigial limbs. They're relatively small in the females, but males will actually have larger spurs as well. One of the ways you can tell the difference between a male and a female Kenyan sand boa, if you look at the length of their tail, Females, like this little lady, will have short, stocky tails, or males will have longer tails. Now, even though these guys are called sand boas, we don't recommend that you use sand as substrate. We actually recommend repti chips over sand. If sand gets wet, it can become clumpy, and during feeding, your snake could get impacted if it swallows any. Also, sand is really hard to clean. Repti chips is a perfect alternative. Even though these guys are gonna spend most of their time underground, you're gonna want a secure fitting lid. This will prevent any escapes from happening. So that way you're not wondering, where did my sand boa go? For food too, we recommend mice. These guys are gonna feed about every 10 to 14 days. We recommend a pretty simple, not so much complex shopping list. Like this guy right here for substrate. You have some really nice repti chips. A simple water dish to maintain humidity in your enclosure in case your snake ever wants to get a drink. A repti therm under tank heater. And then to control the temperature, we have a RepiTherm digital thermostat as well. And then for enclosure size, we have a 30 by 18 by 12. For heating, you're not gonna wanna use any kind of complex lighting. Uh, you can actually use a heat map. We have several varieties here at Predators Reptile Center that you can check out. These guys aren't necessarily gonna be very bitey. They're very placid, very chill snakes typically. Females will get to around three feet in length. Males are a lot smaller. They're only gonna get about 24 inches in length at most. If you wanna get your very own Kenyan sand boa, Check us out at Predators Reptile Center. We're located on Baseline in Pennington. Follow us on all social media platforms and we hope to see you soon.